Hey Philip, hey Sammy, it's Tuesday, and I decided to do your modern art challenge, Philip. See if there's anything that I could kind of tolerate. But first things first, my beard is so itchy. <laughs> That's much better. Now, Philip, you issued this challenge. Your challenge is as follows. To the best of your ability, pick your least hated modern artist and explain his artwork to me. Tell me what it is that you like and don't like and why and what the artist was trying to do, what they were trying to accomplish, what it is that they were trying to say with their artwork. I give you two weeks to complete this challenge and if you don't, then I will be very disappointed in you. Well, prepare to be disappointed, because it's August now, and you made that video... Yeah. Nonetheless, here I go. I went to the Broad. It's a museum that just opened up in downtown LA, and it had a massive line outside of it. My favorite two pieces are this balloon thing right here, and this rocket ship tree thing. They were magnificent, but apparently they don't qualify as modern art, because modern art only applies between 1860 and 1970, so all of this is after modern art makes it post modern art so the next stop was lachma and that's where i found this very simple painting that appealed to me in english the name is the treachery of images aka this is not a pipe and that's what's written there in french this is not a pipe ironic isn't it well no but we'll get back to that it was painted by a belgian surrealist named rene marguerite Hopefully I'm saying it right. Somewhere around 1928. Now surrealism as modern art is one of the main movements for which I say I hate modern art. But as a whole what it's trying to do is to oppose realism, which a lot of people at the time thought led to World War I. Ultimately surrealism is just trying to get you to combine a dream with reality. But here's the thing, this free floating drawing of a pipe isn't a pipe. We're so used to looking at an image, especially through advertisement, and thinking that that is the actual object. But it isn't. And what he's trying to do with his painting is show the disconnect between the object and the reality. This is not a pipe. It's a simple point, but it's very meta and I like it a lot. I have one more of these which I'm going to do a little later on. But first, Philip, thank you for such a nice birthday gift. You did not make a video on your day. That means you get punished. But, 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 I have to do my punishment video first. That, that's coming in two weeks. By the way, I don't think I said which punishment I'm going to do. I'm going to do the My Favorite Thing scavenger hunt thing, where I'm going to have to find them all. I mean, I've been chasing bees for weeks now, and they just keep getting away. I mean, it's horrible. Okay, you took my phone, so the quality's gonna drop. Nonetheless, here are your punishments. Number one, you have to do a classic. Blenderize a Happy Meal and drink it all up. Sounds fun. Number two, you have to do the Rose Ball Loop. That's about three and a bit miles in high heels. That should be fun. And number three, you have to make a compilation video of all the different YouTube tropes. Unboxing, makeup tutorials, gamer, you know, etc. Philip, Sammy, that's it. I gotta go.